Facts First presents Tim Conway tells the story of the sketch that made his co-star wet his pants. If you're a fan of comedy, click that like button and share this video with others. It'll give them a laugh, too. Also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Over the years, Tim Conway, Carol Burnett, and Vicki Lawrence made the world laugh. In the 1970s, The Carol Burnett Show was one of the most popular shows on television. The show was on TV for 11 seasons from 1967 through 1978, and for years people could also enjoy the show in reruns. The show was hilarious, and while filming, the actors had a lot of fun. When Harvey Korman and Tim Conway did sketches together, they had a great time and the audience always had a good laugh. The secret to their comedic success was that they always had fun when they were working together. Over the years, Tim Conway entertained his audience, and older generations remembered him as this bumbling ensign Charles Parker in McHale's Navy. Working with Ernest Borgnine, he made millions of people laugh. Children today have also been entertained by Tim. At 82 years old, he provided the voice of Barnacle Boy from SpongeBob SquarePants. While working on the cartoons, he was also able to reunite with Ernest Borgnine again. Borgnine played the Mermaid Man. Well, Tim Conway grew up in Chagrin Falls, Ohio, and growing up, he was the son of a horse trainer. Later, he worked as a horse jockey and then went on to attend Bowling Green University. During his childhood, people told him that he was funny. He always had a secret desire to entertain people, which is how he ended up working as an actor and comedian. Well, due to his iconic career, he was asked to sit down once with Conan O'Brien and Andy Richter and talk about his time on The Carol Burnett Show. Tim joked about his family being poor, saying that his parents didn't tell him about Christmas until he was 17 years old to save money. He joked that he couldn't figure out why they were bringing a tree in the house every year. And During the interview, a famous clip was played that Tim says he will never forget. The skit was called Dentist Sketch, and it involved Tim and Harvey. The skit was run on The Carol Burnett Show, and according to Tim, the sketch was loosely based on a dentist that he knew while he was in the service. The dentist accidentally numbed his own thumb, and when Tim was in the service, the dentist was going to numb his mouth with Novocaine and the needle went through his cheek and into the dentist's thumb. Well, in this sketch, the dentist, played by Tim Conway, shoots himself in the leg with the shot of Novocaine and then he struggles to get back up because his leg is numb. Conan O'Brien said that he heard Harvey actually wet his pants during this scene and asked Tim Conway if it was true. Well, Tim confirmed, yeah, the story was true. He says Harvey was laughing so hard he wet his pants while taping the skit. When Conan asked Tim what he thought about the situation, he said that it was great. Tim joked that he owned a dry cleaning business at the time, so any time that he could make a co-star wet their pants, it meant more money for him. It just goes to show you that even today, Tim can still make audiences laugh. Tim says that getting into comedy, it's a pretty tough business at first. He says it was his opportunity, though, to work on The Carol Burnett Show that helped him get his big break. On The Conan O'Brien Show, they played a part of this clip, and while the clip was rolling, the audience and Conan were laughing hysterically. Tim added that if you look closely enough, you can see Harvey wetting himself. It's a great story. I mean, not only do you get to see an interview with a comedy legend, but you also got to hear a great story about his comedic past. According to Conan O'Brien, it's watching Tim Conway and many of his performances that led Conan to want to be a comedian himself. Tim had an amazing career and he continues to do so today. The Carol Burnett Show will always be considered one of the funniest shows ever on television. And subscribe for more!